hey what's up guys today in this video we are going to get our hands dirty and install a clean next app and then start looking at how we can fetch data from graphql inside our react application first we will install next.js and configure tailwind css so that we are able to set up our front end and then we will see what all plugins are required for us to do the graphql queries inside react and stuff like that so without wasting much time let's get started so in this folder over here i'll open up my terminal and first of all i will create a react application so let me do that and while this is happening there's one small change that i will do inside my application and that is i will install react's 17th version instead of the latest 18 because i found some issues with that oh by the way i did a mistake i think i haven't taken the typescript version which is important for me i would ideally like to work with the typescript version so why don't we run that command with parameter typescript right so while this is happening as i said we will make those small tweaks we will install the 17th version of react react dom and also the types slash react as the development package okay so looks like our next application is installed let's go inside our folder open up code and we can see our code base over here which is very much expected but then as i said there are certain dependencies which i'm going to install at specific versions so what is that i'm gonna do i'll do npm install and then the react version at 17.0.2 react dom at 17.0.2 and i'll do exact okay let's quickly look at our package.json now and yes i can see these are correct similarly i'll need to change this types as well so that the type definitions are for the appropriate react version okay i'll just execute this command and i can see that the package json has been updated which obviously would mean that the node module also would be on the same version so now inside vs code i can run the application npm run dev and it should start the application on localhost port 3000 it does let's confirm that right everything is fine so far and now the next step is obviously as i told you we will be installing tailwind inside this application so that you know we are able to get the styling in place so now we will follow this guide where it says install tailwind css with next.js basically you need to go to tailwind website get started and inside that you will find the framework guides over here i just clicked on next.js and this guide is very simple there are only a couple of steps and then we are done so this is something which we have already done now let's install the dependencies inside the web client right that's fine what's the next step it initializes the tailwind configuration file right so now i have where is my tailwind config this is the file that i got because of the configuration that i initialized the next step is we need to tell tailwind where you know my components and pages are because that's where tailwind will look for the react components and you know build the css which is required so I have opened the configuration inside content which is your you know inside the tailwind config js in this array just put these two paths and we are basically done as far as this configuration goes the next step is you know add the tailwind directives inside your css file so just copy this go to your next.js application go inside styles global css just clean up everything that you have and put these three directives and we are done ideally now our application should have tailwind let's see i think i need to 
run the application again. Let's see now what does it do? Right, the font seems to be correct, which some way suggests that it is tailwind now. Let's try and do some modifications and see. Let's go inside our pages, index.tsx, and maybe over here, instead of style description, I can do something like font bold. And this is going to be 2XL, and let's see if something changes. It does. So this does mean that I was able to you know, stylize the the text using Tailwind CSS. So the setup is ready and we should be able to now then look for more configurations.